Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on No Creek Farms. Uh, what episode is this folks? I think it is 22. Episode 22. Now there goes Rosie and Bubba's up here eating. Oh, oh, it must be full. I'm stepping back, don't want to disturb. It's like looking at the animals. But folks, it's currently the next day than the last episode. Eight o'clock in the morning. It's still dark, dark looking. You know, I guess because it's partly cloudy. But uh, we gotta clean up the cows. They are probably about eighty percent clean right now. Watch out, Rosie! I want to get you. All right, they're all good and clean. I see. I'm just going to back this up over here, get out of their way. Whoa, I don't want to get in the way of the fence. So, all right, just going to shut that off. Let's hop its fence. All right, folks. I had a. Uh, I know it's currently the next day, but. I had the guys come in and install a new uh, grain bin system for us. Uh, I know you probably can't see it right here. Let me, uh, of course, you know, in, in real life, I've done this myself. It took me probably about three hours to do this. It's very tedious. Uh, as you can see right here, it's not like the old type. Uh, this here was on the bottom, and this in here was on top of this, and, and went over to that. And, well, now it just looks like one long grain loop, except for this here. Right here where my little circle is. Ah, stop jumping. Right there, I could not get those pipes to look right. Because if I brought it over where it would look right, that nair would have been pointing down over here. So that's the best I could do right there, Jesse. And Jesse, this for the record, I done this thinking about you. Uh, I miss uh, Mike Sullivan's farms out there working with y'all. And uh, this here just uh, gave me a idea to do this. But the best I can do, these grain tanks are not the same size. As you can see, that is a tiny bit taller, tiny bit shorter, and taller. But this was not here. It just came to right there and stopped. So I added this extension right here. And this, that there, I just copied it. Moved it over, kind of straightened up a little bit. And put it going down. But as you can see right here. I tried to get it as best as I could. And the other thing I added was right down here at the bottom where it would actually go down and loop back under through the things. And in our real life grain tanks, there are grates inside. And you got levers here that you can pull to open those grates. Uh, that would take the grain down and back that way. And this here would just let it circle. The axis would circle back. So basically, you got, say you had this tank beans and this tank beans, soybeans. Uh, you had this in empty. And it was down to the sweep auger. And this in here was like half. You could just keep this loop going, circling around. And you get in here and to sweep auger and clean out this in. And it would go back into this one if you had time, unless you was loading the truck. But I also installed this here. This one's not here. I just took one of them, shortened it, put it here. That way it looked more realistic, like grain was going through, all the way through. But, you know, if you had corn in this one, uh, it wouldn't affect these because you would have the grate closed. And it would just shuffle that corn from the bottom of that and 
through this pipe that's running through over to the other one. Show y'all that here in a minute, but there's the other one I made. And then uh, over here, not much to this part, but I added this little piece at the bottom that's actually turned over where it's going up and back through. It makes an L. And real life, uh, this loop would be way out here coming down with a concrete pad here and that going under the pad. The trucks would drive across. You would have a pipe coming down to dump into the truck. Or you would have a grate here where the truck can dump into the pit and run through. And, uh, oh, they got my auto save. But anyway, um, yeah, that's that on the grain tanks. That's pretty much all I've done with that. Except for fill 11 and 16. And oh my, look there. Colin Julian's already over there working. Brother, he works. He's a hard worker. Let's go visit him. There you go. He's over here plowing, or as I call disking. Uh, actual plow is different than this, but I'm going to insert a clip here in a minute to show y'all how I got this field. But, um, yeah, I did take out a little bit more loan. Uh, but anyway, I started, uh, I did all the way around the ends to a boundary, kind of shaping it up better. And, uh, then I hired Colin Julian, uh, vlogs to come plow this for me. And when we get over here, that green spot, I took that fence out. The guy's done a wonderful job, Mr. Yankee. Uh, Colin and Jason and, and a bunch of others came, pulled all the fence poles up, get the bob wire out, and, and we're going to make this one big field. So it's going to be, we can either call it 16-11 or 11-16. Or, uh, or we just might give it a name. The Big Cut or something like that. So if y'all want to name this field, Put down below in the comments where you think a good name for this field would be. Uh, let me get rid of this real quick. I can't. I got them hired right now. I have to wait till he gets finished before I can take the GPS off. But anyway, um, we got some washing and some putting away to do. Because we are done with all the crops. Uh, all right, you can see the cows. Uh, still got four cows. Um, just started the game, so it's not going to give me the next animal and what time, you know, and stuff. But our liquid manure is getting up. Or we're up 3,000 liters. Um, they're going to need some power food probably the next episode or two. But we're going to work on that, too. Um, let's see here. Our, and I forgot about this, too, folks. We have canola i didn't i thought these two was the only two we got but i forgot i got a big old hopper or not hopper but one of those bag systems full of canola in case you are new uh, we'll go take a look at it but that's the price of it i wish it would go up uh this was going down and it stopped at that price so it should be going up hopefully 
Now, that is not a bad price, but I think we can get better. So we might sell some of the canola. I forgot how many liters. Uh, it's this up are pretty good. But anyway, we uh right here's all we got. We got some winter wheat here. Uh, I didn't want too much, but I needed some straw. So um, going to have to do a game plan on next. Uh, is he through? Let's go check. Yep, he, he heard. All right, appreciate it, Colin. We're going to take it from here. Make sure none there. Look like this end's pretty good. So let's uh, go ahead and allow creek fields. I'll put that down. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat a little bit here. I'm going to move this course play, uh, not course play, but my GPS system over. Let's see, yeah, I got to turn it just a little. Whoa, that's more than a little. Okay, looks good. Let's go with that. Yeah, I probably should have kept that. Looks like he's, yeah. Wasn't quite lined up down here, right? So. Well, anywho, yeah, that's what it is. It's one big field here. And since I can get the GPS off, i well, so do that and do this. That way y'all can see the shape of the field. And that's what it looks like minus the green line between them now. But, uh, I don't know. Y'all give me a name. Put it down in the comments. Give me a name for it. Yeah, I want to scoot over a little. Take GPS off. Try to get this as much as I can in one pass. And all right. Everything's good back that way. Just got to finish this up around here. And then we'll get him going back to the to the farm shop while we're washing off a few of them, getting them parked and stuff. So we're gonna have to hook these guys up to the the baler and I'm wanting to rent a new mower, but overnight the interest and stuff. All right, three three hundred fifty thousand loan. I, I believe what it's up to. It really took a damper out of my pocket. It, it really made my pocket slim. There dust webs in there now. All right, that's this side. Turn our lights off. I'm gonna go ahead and fold up. I think this side's cleared. Yeah, done a good job. All right, this is what I'm talking about right here. As y'all can see, I took the trees out on this side. Just to make sure the hired workers wouldn't have a problem getting into them. And tree limbs wouldn't fall in our field. But, uh... Uh, where's my... Oh, there it is. Where is my mouse? Ah, there we go. We're going to uh, put on this transport. Uh, farm uh, F16 and T farm shop. There we go. And uh, here's course. Let's get on the. Oh, it's right there. Drive course. Oh, you're going to turn the lights on anyway. Stop at the last trigger. We're just going to watch, make sure he gets on the right path. But, uh, uh, help her Jamie. Okay, Jamie's going to be doing the transport. All right, Jamie, get it there in one piece. All right. I guess we're going to do the combine first, get this big thing out of the way. I want to squeeze through over here. To let me, there we go. Get away from that pressure washer so I can talk. 
But folks, what do you think about the combine? Y'all think we should keep it or, or go ahead and sell it so we don't have to pay the maintenance and stuff on it? And then next time just lease one or two. I know this here would bring us a lot of money to get the loan down. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll make good on the hay belling because we're going to make silage bells like we did last. Uh, well, it was actually spring, wasn't it, when we done it? I know you're probably going to get tired of it, but it's going to be probably coarse played. And I'll get this header here clean real good. I think that's pretty good. It looks like it. Well, I figure we do a uh, course play, let it do most of the work. Uh, we can just sit back and watch it and take care of the cows. But I do want to get some more cows. We need more milk. We only got like 200 or $300 that we're on milk we're making. And we need more money than that. Now, I'm not money hungry. Not money hungry one bit. But speaking of money, it would be a good time to plug an intro for my paypal account uh, uh real life too folks uh if y'all feeling generous not asking for money but if y'all are feeling generous just uh hit me up on my paypal account It'll be down below in the description at the very bottom almost uh, along with all my social links too this weight here takes forever to clean okay i know our Cut back through here. I know I don't get this hose tangled by now. Uh, let's go ahead and wash this in while we're here. The JM cart. I'm on. Get clean, big boy. Gotta make sure we get the auger real good. All right, so we should do that. I will get our massy here. A lot of times they say if you, oh, I can't go no further. If you shoot for the name of the tractor, it goes faster. But it does seem to work because look at how fast it's going now. You can almost see the dirt getting off of there. All right, uh, let's see. We're going to go put this away. It's kind of crowded over here. Start this bad boy up. But I just want to get some of this equipment put away. Um, especially before Jamie gets here. We should be seeing her before long. Oh, she's on the bottom road down there about middle, so maybe a couple more minutes. Now, I hope these doors are open all the way. It don't quite look like it, does it? Uh oh. Um. Oh, right there. Uh. B to open. So they're open all the way. Oh, that's gonna be a tight squeeze getting that header in there. Almost inches, just leave it outside. Oh, I got a couple of inches over here. Oh, look at that. I'm going to actually make it. All right. Oh, there are bellers in here. Okay, doggy. I can't see. Oh, got to go over some more. Got to pack his baby tight for winter. I, I don't know what to expect for winter. Ah, y'all didn't see me hit the wall. Y'all didn't see me hit the wall. Now, am I going to hit this wall? Probably is since it's sticking out. <laughs> All right, we're going to lower this bad boy down. It looks about good. I just need to. Uh, there we go. Back up just a little. Oh, I don't know. Don't don't raise back up. All right, there. There we go. It's not sticking out the wall, so that's good.
All right. Now we got to get the corn header. Whoa. There's Jamie. That's perfect timing. Good job, Jamie. Appreciate it. We'll get it from there. Boy, that thing's dirtier as anything on the lot. Okay. Right, line up just right. Oh, oh, there we go. How dirty is this thing? Eh, it don't look too dirty. Look at our tracks are very dirty. Alright, let's go ahead and put this baby in the barn too. And since we gotta get it out next when the come wheat time, we're just going to leave it up on or leave it hooked up. And try to get this thing over here as far as we can. Yeah, it looks good that way. Alright, we're going to lower it down. Eat up just a little bit more. And we're going to leave it like here. Whoa. Put me outside the wall. That wasn't too hot. Alright, let's go over here and get this in, on hired. Once again, appreciate it, Jamie. Alrighty. I'm just going to take that gray box off. Ah, I see. Let's pull over to the pressure washer. I'm thinking about selling a, a load of that canola, folks. I, I really am. And having said that, we're going to leave this in here. Um. I think I'm gonna have the baler on this tractor. I, I really do. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to go down here, unhook this, and let's see. I'm gonna just park it right here. We gotta get in here and get this baler out. Alright, here we go. Nice and steady. Nice and steady, folks. And bingo. What's his name, Mo? Ooh. And a bumpy bump bump. Hmm. Hate to hit that fast. Alright, we're going to park the... And pull one up a little bit more. Park it right there. Hook back up to the auger wagon here and put it in the shed. Um, we got rain tomorrow. Skip a day and then we got snow. So that's why I'm wanting to put all this stuff up in the buildings. Because uh, snow actually enters these... Uh, like this auger wagon here, snow can get in it, and uh, it's kind of rough getting it out. You know, you have to hop up in there and clean all that out, poke it down to clean out sheet. Oh, bumped the wall. I'm just trying to get over it as close as I can, cause this is our main machine shed. Now I can't see. There we go. Whoa, 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 getting too fast there. Might need to turn this tractor down some. Oh, what am I thinking? We'll keep it just like it is. We'll go around, look, make sure. Oh, yeah, plenty of room. And uh, I don't know if the sun's going to come out today or not, but uh, probably going to be a long day ahead of us, folks, because uh, let's see. I ain't going to leave it up there. I'm actually going to take this over. All right, folks. Sorry for the interruption, but uh, that was my cousin, uh, Jay Boo, Jason. Oh, I won't fit through the door. Oh, wow. Uh, 
I got a way of folding this thing? Nope. No. No folding. So I'm just going to have to leave it here. Pull up in here. We're going to go ahead and do an oil change on this tractor. Oh, I forgot to shut it off. Since it's all good and warm, uh, let's just see what it's going to consist of. Repair. Oh, my God. $1,658. Yes. All right. So, repair is done. We can customize it. Um, we can go narrow tires. Very twin wheels, standard wheel weights. We're gonna just go and go keep it, keep it as it is. But we repaired it, so it's gonna be like new. It actually will help. Um, I'll turn the lights on instead of start. <laughs> it still has 33 hours on it, but you know it's gonna pull better. Uh, have a pep, got the oil change and all that good stuff. And while I'm at it, uh, I guess it's going to have to be on to do it. Um, I don't see. I don't see it nowhere. Ah, right, right there. Uh, LB and the up on the D-pad is reset bell counter to zero. Uh, we got 390 bells through this thing so far. And uh, I just want to have it on... Uh, Zero when we go bailing, so we can see how many we've done for this year. Um, for right now, let's get this guy out of the way because he's going to be all we need to do to him. We're just going to pull him through. Um, just get him out of the weather for right now. Shut him off. I was still think about selling that little guy. We, we're going to do that here in a second, too. Well, actually, we got about three minutes left. Uh, this little bit here is washed, so we're going to go ahead and get him out of shed, too. And what do y'all think about those? Uh, I got to lower this down so I can see what I'm backing. Oh, the other shed door's open. I could have just went around. Oh, it popped open. I don't want to feel you right now. I sure don't want to feel you right now. Because we may be getting... Uh, of course, we're going... Whoa. Yeah, it should be out of the way. Well, we got the 8,000 liter seed pallets. And we got fertilizer here. We got liquid fertilizer. And now that liquid fertilizer is intended for a seed master. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to close this door right here. Oh, X. B is open and X is to close. And this is on Xbox One controller. All right. And I'm going to leave that open right now. See these we can't close. Don't have no doors there. Um, we may have to sell some more sodas. No, no, no. I forgot. I forgot. Uh, we huh, need a tractor now. So we got three tractors. I think that's all we got. Well. I'll tell you what, I got about a minute left, so we're going to take this old bob truck here, and we're going to go over to this white thing that's in the field, 
and on the next episode we're going to sell our canola um, which will still be the same day but it'll be a different episode let's see here let's see if I can get a reading ah uh, okay oh but folks in the next episode we're going to sell some canola and uh, get us a mower and we're going to go bailing the heck out of the solid bales. So I hate to run off like this, but it should be around 30 minutes. I'm going to kind of keep it limited. But I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all tomorrow, okay? Later.